This tutorial is to teach you how to use Destiny at home and at school. First thing you want to do is go to Google, type in JWMS Library. First thing that comes up is the school library site. When you get there, scroll down and you will see that it says Library Catalog, Ebooks, and Databases. This is Destiny, that's our library catalog. When you get there, click the ca catalog tab, type in what you're looking for. So if I'm looking for maybe Diary of a Wimpy Kid, I type it in and I can see that I have lots of different types. Look for the one you're looking for. Make sure you check the side right here. It tells you if it's available. This is not available, but these are. I have copies available. Then you want to look over here at the call number. If it's got a P, that means it's in the paperback section. If it just says fiction in the letters, then that means that it's in the regular fiction section in the back of the library. When you get back there, you want to look for the letters on the spine label and look for K-I-N. With the catalog, you can also search for topics. Let's say I'm interested in rabbits and I want to look for information on rabbits. I type in what I'm looking for, hit the enter key or keyword, either way. Wait for it to load and then it will bring up everything I have on rabbits. Again, you want to look at the cool number. This says it's a VHS. We're not looking for VHSs, so we'll scroll down past those and we'll see. And we can tell it I don't want all those VHS's, so let's refine the search. I can say, I want books. So I go over here and I'll tell it, just look for books. Now I get all our books. Here it says it's got a fiction book on rabbits. This one is um, also looks like an old legend. Here we go, looking on information. If you look at the call number, you can tell me if it's fiction or not. Here we go, Dear Rabbits in the 599s, that's the animal section, would be where I would find books on rabbits. So maybe I want to define my search a little bit more because that gave me way more information than I needed. So I'm going to refine my search. Um, rabbits and maybe put animals. Still giving me more. So that's still not working, so maybe I want to be more specific and come up with maybe rabbit habitats. And see what that gets me. Ah, pet rabbits. So that gives me a little bit more specific information about rabbits and where to find them. This is in the nonfiction, so it gives me a number here, 636.9. So I want to look in the red section at the back of the library and find 636s, then the point nine, and then look for the letters, and that'll get me right to my book. We also now have a lot of ebooks at James Workman, so we can also make our search by the type of material we want, as we did earlier with rabbits. So let's say I'm interested in ebooks and I want to just know what we have. So maybe I'm just looking for ebook fiction. So down here, instead of books, I'm going to tell it only electronic books. And then I'm going to enter. Let it spin and spin. And let's see what we get. Notice here that it's got a little E. This tells me that it is an electronic book. I can read it two ways. I can read it right here on my computer. I log in with my username, which is your school ID. and then your six digit birthday. If you are born, however, January through September, it dropped the first zero, so it's your five digit. So my birthday is 32702. I, instead of putting 03, I'm gonna put 32702. Then I'm going to log in. Okay, once I log in, it's gonna tell me what books are available. And as you can see, I have quite a few books. I can read them online or I can check them out. So if I'm interested in reading The Fire, I just hit 
check out hold and then it will bring up the book. I don't want to do that because I'll take it out of circulation. We also have an app called Enlight K12, E-N-L-I-G-H-T space K-12. You can download that app right on your device, smartphone, iPad, Android device, and same username, your school ID, and your five-digit password. And then you have to put in the HTT code, which is WBB30360. WBB30360. You only have to put that in once and your username once. After that, all it's going to ask is for your five or six digit password. Remember when you're logging in, if you have a zero in front of your birthday, just drop that. If you have any questions about any of these items, go see Ms. Gallagher or Ms. Anderson in the library.